Hey Pisces, what you doing? I hope you're feeling good. <laughs> and if you're not feeling good, it's my intentions that you will be by the end of this reading. So come on in my loves. Thank you for coming back home to our home planet. It was created just for us Pisces to come be in our beautiful Neptunian day dreamy fantasy energy okay <laughs> all right so something about a fantasy oh I see what you're doing okay anyway let's get into it guys I want to um tap in and just see what's going on with us oh we got the shadow self here the number 36 could be significant y'all already know what time I'm on 369 you know what I'm saying all right 36 36 breaks down to a 9 369 okay so it's something about your shadow self something about your shadow self that's going to give you the key to something here and look oh huge shouts out to patricia delgado what up sis hey girl thank you for sending me these beautiful cards we're going to use them um today i'm sorry i forgot the box i forgot the name of them <laughs> i think it's like garden moon tarot or something but anyway on pre-shuffle you have the judgment here okay and the judgment is all about waking up to something right uh, not all about but anyway <laughs> all right so it's like your soul is waking up or something it's something about i feel like it's something significant about your shadow self right and the shadow self is like the ego right that's the thing that tries to keep us safe Sometimes the ego or the shadow self in trying to keep us safe, which is comfortable, it's not a lot of conflict, it's not a lot of, you know what I'm saying? In its attempt to keep us safe, sometimes it hinders us. You know what I'm saying? So it's something here about you waking up to some realization about yourself, Pisces. Okay? all right you could feel stuck or just like something is not open completely you see how the guy is back there he's like on the window right like okay the moon is right th look you got the full moon right here but it's only a crescent moon right here like it's i don't know okay something's peeking out of something at you or something okay And it's something about something may be a little scary or feel a little uncomfortable or something, but it wants to be addressed or something. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So shadow self. All right. On the bottom of the deck over here, you have the impossible becomes possible through my connection with the divine. Pure alchemy. Let's get a couple more affirmation cards, Spirit. Where is this reading going for uh, Pisces today? Don't forget to hit that like button, Pisces, and exchange some energies with your girl. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Spirit, what messages do y'all have for Pisces today, please? What is this reading in regards to? All right, breath work could be significant. Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, Wim Hof. Check him out if you want to get into breathing um, breath work, okay? Y'all, your girl started jogging and running this week, okay? Doctors told me a long time ago I shouldn't run and all this other shit because my knees, fuck all that. Guess what? I'm going to do it and I feel great. You understand me? It's something about something somebody told you that's not possible, that's very possible for you this could even be doubts you've had about yourself okay just like i said a doctor told me i couldn't do something god told me i could you know what i'm saying <laughs> and i feel fine if anything i feel wonderful you know what i'm saying but anyway wim hof's breathing techniques really really helped me you know what i'm saying to get that that oxygenation going okay and you know we need oxygen for them red blood cells to oxygenate our whole body all right so make sure you get in all your water you know what i'm saying staying hydrated you're doing your breath work breathing techniques that help to oxygenate your blood and your organs okay organism okay <laughs> all right all right, science could be significant. You could be like good at science or like science, biology, anatomy, physiology, okay? 
all right you could work in that kind of field okay doctor nurse i was gonna say lawyer but okay something in the legal system possibly all right healthcare, legal system all right mm -hmm. all right don't have to be but pick up what resonates and leave the rest for your brothers and sisters okay Ooh, ooh. what you supposed to be doing right now pisces that you ain't done yet now you know spirit gonna call us out now okay <laughs> I confidently push forward to complete my task. I'm not saying you didn't do it, but it might be something here that you might want to, okay? Continue pushing forward to complete. I answer the universe's signs and symbols. This came out earlier. I just didn't take it, all right? I'm eager to learn and open to new perspectives, okay? You got the nine of wands, okay? Military could be significant. The military, all right? Um, then you have judgment twice, okay? It's something about answer, like answering some sort of call, answering the signs, the symbols, the omens, okay? Something about orbs could be significant, okay? All right? It's like y'all are slowly but surely making your way to your fantasy. It's something about a fantasy here. But look in this, and on, oh, I love the imagery here. Okay, this is the Knight of Pentacles, right? And the Knight of Pentacles, he's the slowest moving knight in the deck. I know y'all know that by now, right? He's the slowest moving knight in the deck, but he takes his time. He's slow, but he's steady, right? And everything that he builds or grows is stable, okay? Can't shit shake the Knight of Pentacles foundation because he's sure, because he took his time to do something, right? This can also represent something coming in kind of slow, but whenever it does manifest, it's going to be um, foundationally stable. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. But look in the background, look, that look like a fantasy world or something, right? Like, look at it. He's slowly gonna make his way up there to his fantasy. Okay. And there go the moon again, y'all. That crescent moon. A crescent moon could be significant. All right. Even that, look, I don't know. It's something about, okay, the letter C could be significant. Okay. All right. Y'all, again. <laughs> The impossible becomes possible through my connection with the divine. Pure alchemy. You're changing something here. Okay, here we go. You know the devil got to come out, y'all. <laughs> I am aware of the places in my life where I was chained to self-sabotage. Ooh, a little jumping spider. Go on about your business now. We don't want no little creatures in the reading today now, okay? Thank you. Have a good one. All right, I am patient and flexible, and I trust that the universe is working on my behalf to bring my desires, fantasies, right, into the physical realm, okay? I love this. Temperance. Okay, you have temperance out here twice, so know you are supported by the angelic realm. You understand what I'm telling you? That you have plenty of support around you okay all right and the six of pentacles is here the more comfortable i become with receiving the more abundance will flow into my life take heed to the message is what i just heard all right let's see if anything want to come out of here what we need to focus on spirit what does pisces need to focus on please and as always shout out chantry saba gemini and finn okay for their beautiful melodies and music that calms my soul and tingles my dna okay <laughs> just in case y'all can hear it playing in the background i like to give credit what credit is due all right okay i feel like that's significant too getting credit for something okay all right spirit Ooh, we have the second house okay so you might want to look in your second house and your birth chart it's a free birth chart link down at the bottom of the description box if you don't know what your birth chart is. All right, but it says represents what you value most and hold dear. What you want out of life, physical values, what you need most to feel grounded. It says see beyond the physical forms of our attachments to our spiritual values, okay? And on the bottom of the tech, listen, listen, okay? All right, you better be confident in this too. Oh, you got the fifth house, a Leo or a Taurus could be significant. 
it's something about you having a lot of or being being pleased that's not what i want to say though having a lot of pleasure in your life you see that the sun and pleasure okay first time parents that's been coming out a lot y'all 10 10 on the clock about pregnancy okay but of course pick up will resonate all right um artistic talents recreation luck entertainment pleasure romance love and theater could be significant okay all right but jeremiah 29 11 niv for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord now plans to prosper your ass and not harm you now okay plans to give you a hope in the future now okay <laughs> so no no everything is always working out in your favor and for your highest good affirm yourself everything always works out in my favor right even this change that i'm going through even as i confront my shadow self even as i look into the deep in the dark and i go where the shadows are you know what i'm saying i will not fear okay <laughs> period ain't no fear over this hoe you know what i'm saying no fear no lack none of that shit all right spirit so let's get a couple more from the uh mystic martian deck all right that's what this deck is here all right mystic martian oracle deck <sighs> spirit what messages do you have for pisces from this deck please mm -hmm. this is too many i'm not doing all of that oh uh, nope all right <clears throat> What is this that the denial here? What is it that Pisces may not be seeing that needs to be confronted, spirit? What is this? It's so funny, y'all, because the devil has been coming out a lot in our readings lately. And spirit has truly been telling me um, for most of those readings that that devil energy is not like an outside energy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we want to look at our surroundings and feel like our surroundings are what's making us feel a certain type of way when in reality the way we're feeling is making our surroundings like feel like that i hope that makes sense <laughs> you get what i'm saying like um a lot of this where's the card like this right aware of places where we self-sabotage right accountability self-accountability is priceless and when you're aware of these places where you may be causing yourself to have a delay or causing yourself to be blocked in that's when you can be enlightened right and that's when that judgment could go like oh shit i've been delaying myself oh shit my thoughts actually uh have an effect on my real world yes okay <laughs> okay even subconscious thoughts y'all i'm not i'm gonna be transparent with y'all like i always do but i'm telling you my business now you know i pull cards on myself for it. like okay spirit what do i need to focus on today the fucking devil keep coming out for me too so i don't feel bad pisces <laughs> i get frustrated on my spirit God. <laughs> why I thought I was doing what I was supposed to do, spirit. Right? And the first thing I heard was subconscious. Sometimes we have subconscious fears and beliefs and programming that could be hindering us in this physical world. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's good to do that shadow work to really tap in with your shadow self. And see, and you some sometimes people call shadow work childhood regression because for most people, not all, but for most people, a lot of that shadow self gets built up during childhood. You know what I'm saying? When you're hushed or told you can't do something, you can't be somebody, you can't work that job because you'll never succeed in it. Nobody ever succeeds in selling fucking pool tables. <laughs> but you're like, but I want to sell pool tables. No, Pisces, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? like programming like that sits in our subconscious mind you know what i'm saying being uh even abused beaten as a child you know what i'm saying <laughs> they call the punishment but shit it's abuse <laughs> you know what i'm saying like shit like that um not getting the attention you actually needed as a child you know what i'm saying so i just heard middle child syndrome okay all right you could be a middle child don't have to be though but something like that like where something was neglected as a child we hold on to that shit in, in our adult lives right and sometimes we don't even realize that shit but anyway go check out clark kegley k-e-g-l-e-y 
if you are interested in doing shadow work he has a very basic ass video that breaks it down when i say basic i mean like it's fundamental so if you've never heard of shadow work before and you're ready to go into this next season of your life fearlessly and wide open ready to receive where is that um the more comfortable I become with receiving, the more abundance will flow into my life. Go check out his video. He has about a couple of videos on shadow work, okay? Ooh, I'm telling you, look. Right there, the Kabbalah, tree of life, right? The Kabbalah, tree of life, integration. What are we doing? Integrating this shadow, right? I know this ain't a sexy reading. I know it, it, it ain't, ooh. But it's needed, y'all, okay? <laughs> All right, integration, life lessons, emanation. Something wants to shine through you. Is that what emanation means? I don't know. Anyway, look it up. Some about kundalini rising as well here, like your consciousness, your awareness rising, okay? You're learning how to integrate every part of yourself here, Pisces, okay, into a spiral, okay? you are deeply rooted and grounded okay that is what i just heard so you may want to repeat that to yourself that could be your mantra for the day i am deeply rooted and grounded i am deeply rooted and grounded you know what i'm saying like make a make a jingle out there hope you know what i'm saying make it fun okay tap into that child like energy you know what i'm saying all right all right exactly a leo could be significant this kind of gives me strength i mean it says on there strength courage and bravery is giving me the strength card number eight could be significant a leo could be significant hello fifth house leo we were just talking about that over there okay all right but it says strength courage bravery all right that looks like the beginnings of the flower of life right there this is true integration this is true alchemy pisces i love it for you I love it for us, for our planet. You know what I'm saying? All right. So what is this that Pisces may need to, what is the, give me a second. Hold on, Pisces. What is it that Pisces may not be seeing that they may need a clearer look on to confront spirit? Y'all, guess who came to see us today? He looks a little different, but it's the devil. You know what? We welcome this shit. Cause I, I'm not scared. I'm not mad at this ninja no more. Cause he trying to tell us something. He trying to tell us something, nah. You can't deny it. <laughs> Come on. Hey, devil. How you doing? I hope you had a pleasant evening, my ninja. There go that damn crescent moon, y'all. Something's slowly being revealed to you, baby. Keep moving forward, Pisces. Okay? Keep moving forward. What's on the bottom? The Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, to, the Pentacles makes me feel earth. You know what I'm saying? Rooted. Grounded. I don't have it out here with me, but we have our candle in my house <laughs> you know what i'm saying our root chakra candle that i lit for the planet of pisces okay all right so root chakra feeling safe all right a mothering energy too okay there could be something about a mother in your life or lack thereof okay put the energy where it goes though Y'all, I kid you not, this lady has a crescent moon behind her head. You don't see it all, though. You see that? All right, it's something here about your intuition opening up as well, Pisces, okay? And your connection, bruh. Real talk, your connection. It's something about the moon here, all right? Even the phases of the moon, okay? Because you got the whole moon, what? The full moon back there, right? Lighting up lighting up your life okay showing you the the areas of your life where you need to you know what i'm saying have that little wake-up call okay from this dude right here he, he's the devil capricorn energy right more earth energy though that is stability that is groundedness that is connectedness what did i say earlier i am rooted and grounded i am secure i am safe i am secure you may need to tell that inner child that your inner child you understand what i'm saying okay all right it don't have to be the inner child for everybody some people 
got traumatized from old relationships. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, wherever that trauma comes from, identify it. You know what I'm saying? Work through that shit. Okay? Accept, forgive. You know what I'm saying? Right? And forgive don't mean forget, y'all. Integration is not forgetting. Integration is understanding and using that understanding to put you ahead of the game. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? Right? It's all about perspective and how you looking at the situation. You know what I'm saying? How can I use this for my benefit instead of for my delay, my pause, my something not coming into fruition as of yet? You know what I'm saying? How can I use this? Even if it's a pause right now in your life, how can I use this pause for my highest good? You know what I'm saying? Okay? How can I enlighten myself right now? How can I grow? How can I help others? Right? Because you got the six of pentacles right up under the devil. What do you need to give back? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, the universe is all about equal reciprocity. Equal give and take. It's going to mirror back to you what you put out. Okay, what are you putting out, right? Sometimes it's good to go through your closet, get rid of old things, give to the needy, give to the poor, go volunteer, give some coins to somebody that needs whatever, right? Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Also yourself, if you sitting here giving to everybody else Pisces and you're not filling up your own cup, you're teaching the universe how you like to be treated. You're teaching others how you like it how you like to be treated but you're showing the universe i'm good with accepting the bare minimum keep giving me the bare minimum in my life i like it type shit you know what i'm saying anybody got time for that pisces you deserve what you desire you know what i'm saying okay all right <laughs> the queen of pentacles here the world is here the eight of staffs and the seven of pentacles this is a lot of earth energy here you got a little a little wand you know what I'm saying? But you have a lot of earth energy literally with her standing on the damn earth. You know what I'm saying? The world. 20 to 11 on the clock. Okay. Mastery. Confidently pushing forward, Pisces. The world is yours and everything in it. Get out there. Get on your grind and get it. You know what I'm saying? This is your shit. That's what I just heard. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see what all this means. Y'all, another, another moon, another crescent moon. Okay, be on the lookout for symbolism. Remember what it said earlier? I answer the signs and the symbols of the universe. So follow the signs and the synchronicities and the symbols and the omens that your angels, your spirit folks is giving to you. Now your past over loved ones, your ancestors, shit, your guides, all of them ninjas. Okay, what came out first? Give me a second, Pisces. The devil, the six of pentacles, the world, the eight of staff, and the seven of pentacles. Give me a moment. This is a new deck, so I gotta read it, read it, okay? <laughs> Give me a moment. Let me look at the imagery and stuff. <laughs> okay, butterflies and dragonflies are like winged insects could be significant, but not just like a fly. Or a mosquito. You know what I'm saying? Like a beautiful flying insect or some shit. Bees and... You know what I'm saying? Even if you like them or you don't. It's something about them being significant right now. Winged animals too. I guess... What are those? Birds? Okay. Winged animals. <laughs> Pegasus shit. Okay? <laughs> that could be significant though. Or unicorns. Okay? Mystical creatures. Fantasy. Somebody could be into cosplay or anime or some shit, okay? Hey, me too. Um, <laughs> whoa. Who is this looking at you, Pisces? From the other side, I'm telling you, you got, you got folks working for you on the other side. Look at this. Look, look, look. Who that is? In her wing, nah. Okay? You are supported by the angelic realm ballet dance could be significant okay it's like you may be worried about 
something like real real life you got the devil with the six of pentacles with the world i'm not even worried about these other two cards yet but just off of these three cards alone this is like overthinking over analyzing over over obsessing shit about something that you have invested in that you've planted that you have sat nope I heard sacrifice, but then spirit stopped me. It's something about you might want to give up something to get something here now. Nah. What we need to give up so we can do it now, spirit. What we need to do now. Nah. <laughs> Bless the Lord, but I'm just ready to defeat this damn big boss. That's what I feel like the devil is to us right now, Pisces. Now, in yesterday's reading, that devil was not our energy. That was some weird shit yesterday with the coven and the, like, folks inspect the gadget in your ass and shit you know what i'm saying if you ain't seen it go back and look at the reading from yesterday i'll try to link it at the end of the video but anyway anyway the devil right it's like he is the big boss on this level of the game we call life this ninja here and we gotta defeat him in order to move to this next our dimension <laughs> next dimension of our life that make me feel like shit is gonna be completely different okay mm. give me a moment okay What's the Six of Pentacles, Spirit? You got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords here. This is mind and body, okay? Mind and body is what I heard. Okay, all right. I'm hearing head and heart connection now. Heart would be more like the Queen of Cups to me, though. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I just heard, okay? You got the Fool on the bottom of the deck. Aries or Aquarius could be significant, okay? It's like with the six of pentacles with the fool and now you got the emperor right here like spirit god whoever is waiting on you to take a risk on something even step up in a certain area of your life like lead or something in a certain area it's something about you that you might not be showing others or something or you may be a little reserved or something it's something about like tennis could be significant it's something about oh shit hold on what? okay i don't know what that was about but okay anyway this fool got three legs right okay you can have like oh i do like an extra finger you know what i'm saying like something something's different about you okay shit an extra ill i don't know shit a mustache and you a woman or some shit you know what i'm saying like something that ain't normal for you to have you have it okay this could even be gifts okay like you could anyway <laughs> you might have a third leg you know what i'm saying okay i'm just saying you put that in just where it go Okay, marbles could be significant. Okay, or playing with marbles. Okay, Toto, Toto, Toto. Wasn't it the dog on, uh, I was gonna say the Wheel of Fortune. The dog on the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, damn, what's the name of the Yellow Brick Road movie? Damn, that movie. All right, an Aries could definitely be significant, but I feel like this is more of calling you into your power, okay? But also, a father figure could be significant here, okay? And I'm hearing, like, shadow work. There could be mommy issues, daddy issues, right? Being neglected by a mom or a dad as a child could have significant, could cause, excuse me, significant trauma or, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucked up ass mindsets. That was no fault of your own. But guess what? Even though it's not our fault that we got trauma, it's our responsibility for us to resolve that shit and integrate it, right? All right, and utilize that shit. It's something about helping others as well here, okay? Your test becoming your testimony, okay? All right, your test though? 
All right, spirit. <laughs> What's the uh, eight of staffs? Let me do that again. I'm sorry, because I was mid-question. Hmm. Hold on, Pisces. We coming. Just ride with me, baby. Okay, we're going to let this message flow out. Oh. <laughs> what you cooking? <laughs> Smell good. <laughs> All right, 87 could be significant. All right, 78, okay? You got six, seven, eight out here. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. You got three of swords. Hmm. What's the devil spirit for Pisces? What's the devil? What is this that we need to... How do we integrate this ninja? Like, so we could beat him. How we beat the devil spirit? Tell me that. How we beat this ninja? Okay, we ready to win mm -hmm. at any cost. That's what I heard. Win at any cost. The fools, it's some, some kind of risk has to be taken here. Some kind of new, something new. It's something new. It's something about breaking tradition as well with this Kabbalah, the tree of life. That's like 10 of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like a represent, it can represent like family. I'm not going to say it represents what I think of when I see this, okay? Because even if y'all know like the light sea of tarot deck and the 10 of Pentacles, they got the Kabbalah tree of life in that, um, that um, imagery. But anyway, if I'm not mistaken, but anyway, <laughs> um, something about family traditions as well yes look the three of staff growth expansion new seeing shit you know what i'm saying in a new kind of way or a new uh not necessarily perspective but yeah kind of okay growth growth okay once again mystical fairy tale fantasy type energy is what i'm feeling in this reading okay you could resonate with those types of energies pisces Talk about a jingle. Okay, somebody here could be a right. My ear is ringing. Somebody who could like write songs or commercials. Okay, or this could be like in your future or something. Or some way, like you're supposed to be on that path, like to write songs. Write poetry or rhymes or something. Somebody here got a cold inside of them. You have a code inside of you. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Come on now, spirit. What you talking about? It's something about it's something about something you creating, being like a un, like it unlocks something for people or something. What are we talking about? What you talking about, spirit? Okay, all right, okay. Put it the pick it up if it resonates, okay? Some kind of work inside of you though is supposed to unlock something in other people. Or some kind of something inside of you or something, okay? What are we talking about? But you gotta integrate something first though, or something like that, okay? What's this one missing piece? It's what's what what are we talking about? Three of cups is here. Alright, okay. Three of Cups is like celebrating with friends, family, you know, the people that you love, that you care about, okay? You might be uncertain about a certain group of folks or something around you or like, okay, all right. Something about, okay. It's it's a lot of messages, y'all. Hold on. I'm just, hold on. <laughs> I feel like that's significant even in and of itself. Like, and then right here you have crop circles right with messages decoding messages again but it's something about a group of people two or three people even that you may not be very certain of in your life okay tall whites is here okay the number 20 could be significant yeah the number 20 is judgment interesting but it says uncertainty, distrust, and guarded, right? It's something about opening up here, okay? Y'all know what? Once again, I'm going to tell you my business. I just realized. <laughs> I thought it was a Pisces thing, but I don't think it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all tell me. But social anxiety. I didn't even know that, that I 
like dealt with that shit until recently in spirit judgment hello blue you know what i'm saying i was like oh my god but i, I love people i love talking you know what i'm saying i'm goof troop silly as fuck you know what i'm saying and i love just hanging out and being around people but i was put in a certain situation that caused me to like have to control not having a damn panic attack and i was like what the fuck you know what i'm saying like i know i don't like being around a group of people but it was like a new like a new atmosphere that I was in and it caused me a lot of anxiety and you know what I'm saying I became very much like what the fuck now with that being said of course listen to your intuition and the signs your body is telling you you know what I'm saying like if something is uncomfortable pay attention to that shit but anyway i say all of that to just say <laughs> sometimes we don't even realize that we be having certain things going on in our subconscious until it manifests in the 3d you know what i'm saying i hope that makes sense all right anyway back to your reading okay <laughs> what is the tall whites about what is this uh uncertainty this distrust and guardedness here all right you might not even trust your own intuition right now okay all right okay all right, it's because you got messages, curiosity, and signs over here, especially with this judgment card with uncertainty. The page of swords is here. I'm telling you, like, you don't trust your what, or like, you might find it difficult to completely trust the messages you're receiving. Okay, I'm telling you with the page here they bring messages okay and that's the mind the swords there go that fantasy y'all spirit like look in the background that's that fantasy that the desire the manifestation the the thing you want okay and i don't want to say it like because when i say fantasy and i hear it now it's like you know a fantasy is not like real you know what I'm saying? But that's not the where I'm going with when I say fantasy. When I say fantasy, what I'm thinking of is like, hello, beautiful butterfly. Oh, my God. A black butterfly just flew by. Y'all could look up the spiritual meaning for that. Oh, my God. Come over here and visit us. Over here on Planet Pisces. Come here so they can see you. No? Okay. Well, have a good day. All right. I don't even know what I was talking about no more, y'all. Sorry. But uh, <laughs> it's so pretty. Sorry, shiny object, okay? Shiny object syndrome, don't judge me, okay? Pray for me, okay? <laughs> All right, you got the ace of staffs. Come on. This is a brand new gift, beginning, start. All right, this is something that is uh, filled with passion, right? Artsy, creative could be, okay? It's something about unicorns, pegasuses, in a castle some of y'all could be wanting to manifest like a house or a big ass house or some shit but you got the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck give me a moment there go that crescent moon again What's needed from Pisces right now, Spirit, to move forward here and beat this devil? It's something you can't be ashamed of anymore. You got the king of staffs on the bottom of the deck. You got the emperor and the goddamn. Look at here now. Look at here. <laughs> I'm telling you, this ain't number five. Okay? The king of wands okay iguanas could be significant reptiles okay all right snakes and shit okay all right okay all right i heard the nagas n-a-g-a-s i think it's the name of it you can look that up though but anyway all right the emperor fire aries energy boss ass energy dude don't give a, he's aries energy i'm gonna just say that i am confidence right okay then you got the ace of staffs. This is very masculine energy here. <laughs> okay, very masculine energy. I heard protection. Somebody here scared to open up their heart. 
Somebody here scared to open up their heart. Somebody scared to open up something here and allow something in. There's a guardedness here, spirit. I mean, Pisces. It's a guardedness here. How y'all were coming through? I mean, I know you saying the fire, but what we do with this fire? Spur? What, what you want us to do with it? How, we, how do we utilize this emperor, king of staff, ace of staff, energy? Fucking more fire. Just more fire just came out. Just more fire. Okay? <laughs> Strength. <laughs> Willpower, baby. Pushing through. Ooh, 40 minutes, y'all. Let's go home. Come on. We finna go on to the house. More fire. This the last leg of the race, though. This the nine of staff, okay? The nine of wands that came out earlier. We gonna end it where we began. Significance, okay? Alpha and Omega, okay? Type of shit. I confidently push forward to complete my task, right? The nine of wands is here with the nine of wands. 99 could be significant, okay? All right, continue to push forward, Pisces. Again, thank you so much, Patricia Delgado. Thank you, sis. I love this deck. If you want to send me something or you have a deck that you would like to see me pull from, look down below. I got my P.O. Box mail stuff all down in the description box. Um, if you'd like to put some coins in the tip, draw that shit down there too, you know what I'm saying? Six of coins, whatever you give over here will always be returned to you, boo. You best believe that, you understand me? I love you so much, Pisces, and I'm so grateful for you. I will talk to all of you wonderful, beautiful, lovely beings down below in the comment section. And even if I don't respond back, know that I love you and I see you, okay? <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little difficult to respond to all the messages, but I see you, I appreciate you, I love you so much, and I'm always praying, praying for you get everything that your heart desires, right? And that everything always works out for your highest good, okay? Because it is, all right? And you will, all right? I love you so much. Talk to you later.